Hey, Jason Stewart with the Stewart Estates team. Want to talk about wood destroying pests or a lot of people just call it the termite inspection on property. So when you're buying a home, uh, sometimes it requires a termite inspection or if you're selling a home, sometimes the buyer is going to ask for that to be done. Now, the termite inspection or the wood destroying pest inspection is going to look for termites. It's going to also look for dry rot and anything that could eat away at the wood. A lot of times um, any water getting into the wood and things like that. Now, most loans uh, that ask for it or most people that ask for it are going to ask for section one. Now there is a section two and a section three. Now VA loans often require section two to be completed. Now what's the difference between section one and section two? Section one is anything on the main structure. Section two is anything that's not connected to the main structure, a detached garage, a shed in the back, a wooden fence, anything like that needs to be inspected and the work needs to be completed if section two termite needs to be done. Now, very few people know about section three. Section three are areas that cannot be easily accessed. So sometimes you have like an attic to where, you know, the structure and everything is okay, but to get inside the walls, you know, that's not something that someone would usually inspect. But sometimes inside those walls, even if you do everything else right, there's some dry rot or there's some termite damage where that wood might need to be done as well. Sometimes it's underneath a house that's not easily um, attainable to get there. So there's also a section three, which you rarely hear about. But section one is often done. A lot of loans, it's not required. So you can do a waiver to uh, remove it. And sometimes that can get the, get the deal done for the buyer and the seller. And then section two is anything else on the property uh, that's not necessarily attached to the main structure. Jason Stewart, Stewart Estates team.